so I woke up and I got ready and I went out and I'm doing my rounds this morning and I got to do errands. It's a nice Saturday before Christmas. And what do you know? Nut Nut is all over social media broadcasting about narcissists as if she has any frigging clue what a narcissist actually is. I don't know what she thinks she's doing. She's pretending to be um, a, an armchair psychiatrist or psychologist or whatever the fuck. And she's saying that they're going to expose narcissists and she's going through a list of behaviors as if she knows. I think it's funny. I think it's uh, hilarious watching people act like narcissists and complete liars. And you know why? You know why they act that way? You know why people act like, uh, why they feel the need to lie on another person? It's because they've been exposed. They've, they've been found out. When a narcissist is found out, they'll do anything to take jabs at you, lie about you, spread rumors about you. Uh, and that's what's been done to Sharon, SG, and myself. We exposed a narcissist. And what, is, what does a narcissist do in reaction to calling them out? What, what would they do? They would defame your character and they'll bully you. They'll even try to, uh, and they do this to turn people against you. That's their goal is to, is to not have anybody believe you by calling them out. And they get down and dirty. They even act like elementary aged children. So that's what we are seeing here in the CWC community. We are seeing a bunch of narcissists that lie on somebody else and well, we're not sitting back and taking it either. They're going to defame our characters. Uh, they're going to do whatever they can to try to get other people not to support you. That's their end game. So <laughs> I had to say this because it's true. Oh, yeah, Sharon. She's she's just uh, so immature. She's elementary school style uh, behavior. She acts like she's in elementary school. She wears pigtails and lies on other people. And she acts like a little girl. But you know what? Narcissists act like children. They really do. So... I've called out so many liars in this community, and I think that's why I uh, get attacked so much. I think that's why people clone my family members and try and intimidate and threaten me. Uh, yeah, they're nasty, nasty human beings. So when you call a narcissist out, it can be dangerous. It really can. The woman is too stupid to even realize she's talking about herself. Are you kidding me, nut nut? Wake the frig up. And then even worse, She's literally describing Miss Sloppy Second Shady Sharon V to a friggin' T. Being with the immature stuff and the not intelligent stuff. Oh my God, you guys gotta see this to believe it. This is like gaslighting to the highest degree. Nut nut. You're just a nut. You are a nut nut. I don't care what you say about it. You're a nut. You're a friggin' nut. Oh yeah. And one more thing. It wouldn't be a perfect day unless SG Survivor Girl went up on a live stream and did an 8 or 10 or 12 or 14 or 16 hour rage stream, live stream extravaganza. Yeah, that's what she's doing. Why? You know, because Nut Nut went live, so of course SG has to go live. And who's all up in there? That's right. Sloppy Seconds, Shady Sharon V is all up in both live streams, making comments left and right. And they're going on and on and on about you know who, Tiffany H, and calling CPS on Tiffany H over friggin' dental records of Tiffany H's kids. They could justify their disgusting behavior. But I want you to know, Tiffany, because of all this, this is showing that you don't care about consequences while parenting. You easily could just avoid this by getting rid of the Rachel account in there, but you won't. You're willing to display your bad parenting choices publicly. So it's not the whole you saying, I'll tell them there's the threat. Well, if there was a threat, why would you continue the behavior? Because you don't care. So you're only showing your own bad parenting choices. But I didn't call. But believe me, even when I do, they'll take heed. Hi, Cindy. Well, you know what? I might just call and make certain that they are. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're claiming that three times they come 
I, if they haven't asked for your last dental exams for those kids, yes, it is your responsibility. And if you think it isn't, then you don't deserve a fucking channel. Okay? You don't. I've had enough of your disgusting, disgusting behavior throughout life. Throughout life, you have had disgusting behavior. Well, from now on, then, I don't know what to tell you, but if anybody comes in with your fucking kids' names, I don't know if I'll be able to fight the urge to remove them. Because that's what I do. That's what we do. You fuck. Who does this? What kind of a person spends their life thinking out and coming up with a plan to call CPS on somebody else's kid that they don't know and have never seen in their real life? Who does this? I'll tell you who does this. A wannabe cop. You, SG Survivor Girl, and you, Sloppy Second Shady Sharon V, and you, Nut Nut, you're all just a wannabe cop. But you're not a cop. Why you're not a cop? Because each one of you are drug users, or derelicts, or criminals, or all three and you'll never be a cop. So get over it. You can't be a cop, so what do you do? You do the next best thing, and you play like you're a knock. You're a rat. Nobody likes rats. You know what happens to rats? They get poisoned. Ultimately, nobody likes rats. Oh, and that's not a threat. That's just a fact of life that rats get poisoned. At least where I come from, we kill the rats and cockroaches. That's what I do. I don't know what you do, Survivor Girl. I heard stories about what you do. You seem to be a hoarder and let fecal matter pile up in your apartment. But what do I know? That's allegedly. I don't know for sure, so I can't say it as a fact. And sloppy second shady Sharon V knows this because she was in prison. So she knows all about knocks and rats, don't she? Yeah, she does. I'm not saying anybody's gonna do that to you. I'm saying that's what happens to rats and cocky roaches. You're not an actual rat. You're just a metaphorical rat. So don't go panicking. Don't be calling cops about poisoning threats and blah, 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 blah. It's a metaphorical statement, you're odd. You guys are knocks. Your tattletales. How pathetic are you?